Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the UVSR Taiga 1 knife. Now, this thing is incredibly rare. So, if you're a bit of an inexperienced player in Tarkov, I don't know if this is really the method you want to be trying out to make money. I got some other money guides on the channel that might help you out a little bit more. Consider those before considering this one. If you're new around here, feel free to drop a sub. We're working our way to 1,000 subs. Once we hit 1,000, we're going to be doing hardcore playthrough. So, once I hit that 1,000 subs, if you are already a subscriber, You'll never have to hear me say that again, so make sure you share the video around. Make sure you leave that like. All the support helps the video and the channel tremendously. So, hopping back into it. UVSR Taiga 1. That's how I pronounce it. Not sure if the Taiga part is exactly correct, but this thing is so rare that we still don't even have a single clip on YouTube yet of somebody looting the damn thing. There's a couple of them out here on the market, sure, 13 of them, but there is no clips on YouTube of this knife being looted yet. And that's extremely unfortunate. Obviously, we have... Uh, reports that come in uh, that get sent to the wiki and then we have probably some twitch clips and twitch streamers but i have not seen a single clip yet on youtube so the uvsr taiga one is valued approximately at 30 million rubles now that could be interpreted as more or less but the current barters are the rivals armband the thick items case and a red key card then we have some miscellaneous ones in here that i think are a pretty damn good deal we have the black key card trade, which I would have bought this if I had a spare black key card just sitting around. Then we have a blue trade, which isn't as good in my opinion, but it's still decent. Then we got this one sitting here, but nobody's going to have all this shit just found in raids sitting around. Four fuel, then you got 11 dry fuel, and eight propane. So you'd have to be sitting on a lot of shit just to make this trade. But I'd say this is probably the most valuable one here when it comes to getting your money's worth. I would take this any day if I had these found in raid items. Now, how do you get the UVSR? Well, you can get them in the giant weapon boxes, which are the big green crates, the 5x5s, that also spawn Red Rebel. I've been playing this game for 1,300 hours. I've looted tons of those fucking crates, and I've never got a Red Rebel, so I don't expect to get the UVSR either. The other places you can get them are on Cultist and Sanitar. Now, guys, I know that a lot of players struggle with Cultist. If you have a five-man squad... That would be your best chance to actually kill yourself some cultists. Now, guys, I do want to say, if you would kill one cultist and they would have the UVSR, make sure you can just throw it right in your uh, scabbard spot. It doesn't disappear. So, you know, if you die with it, it's not found in raid. You can at least, at least keep the knife for yourself. But the main goal is to get this thing found in raid. There is never any for sale in the amount of rubles. And I don't know if that is because there's a giant tax on it. Or what that might be but i've heard some people selling them for two million and they've sold instantly don't do that it's roughly worth 25 to 30 million rubles um guys sanitar sanitar is the way to go to farm this knife i'm not sure what the spawn rate is on the sanitar for this knife but i do see reports that it is on sanitar and if it is on sanitar in my opinion sanitar is one of the easiest scab bosses to kill besides rishala uh, a lot of people would actually disagree with that because his two minions and Sanitar himself run some really good damn ammo. But if you guys can actually get Sanitar in a location where he kind of bugs out or he just isn't paying attention to you and you can kill his guards, run some armor pen ammo, kill him right away, you'll be good to go. A lot of people struggle with him. Honestly, the best place to kill Sanitar is at the cottages. You can get him in a lot of interesting positions in the cottages, and that's where I've killed him the most. The next best place, too, is at the pier. If you're in resort, you could trap them in the one room and nade them and then push them out and then spray down everybody in one straight line. But, guys, at the pier, those bushes, if you guys know, if you play Tarkov and you play you know, shoreline and you go to the pier, you know exactly what I'm talking about. There's the stone things with the bushes. It's right at head level. They can see through the bushes. You can't, so you get you get smashed pretty much every single time. So if you guys can catch Sanitar at the cottages, if you're farming shoreline, whether that's for the resort, whether that's for, you know, tasking, whatever it may be, Sanitar farming him for this UVSR is actually going to be very profitable if you do manage to get one. Now, like I said, I don't know the drop rates, but if you could essentially get one of these in, let's say, 10 to 15 raids, that would be well worth it. I mean, potentially getting 30 million in, in value is essentially just, you know, making every single raid up to that point profitable. So I think a lot more people should be farming the UVSR. Uh, I haven't seen, like I said, any clips. So I really don't know how rare this damn thing is. 
but i think with sanitar it's the best way his minions run a lot of good gear um and if you get the drop on sanitar you're talking you know a million and just gear off of sanitar and his goons so in my opinion Farming Sanitar is the best option to make Rubles right now in Escape from Tarkov for high-level players. So that's just my uh, little guide here. There was no gameplay. We just sat here on the sand dance screen. You listened to me speak. Hopefully you found the information uh, good enough to leave that like. I know a lot of people like to see gameplay, but honestly, you know, sometimes just giving you the information straight shot is a lot better in my opinion. Um, just knowing it and then you can hop right in a raid. You don't have to watch anything. I don't have to drag the video out or anything like that. So... Make sure you guys leave that like, subscribe for new sponsors and equipment in the description below. Let me know in the comments, have you guys gotten the UVSR yet? I know I haven't, and I probably won't for a very long time. Like I said, leave that like, subscribe. That's all I got. Thank you for watching. I'm out.